I have definitely been uh, sitting on this footage for way, way too long. So here it finally is, campaign two, or campaign one. Nice, I said two. Campaign one, episode 25. Um, disregard any promises I make in this video because I don't know when I'll start campaign one officially, officially. But I, I just wanted to show my reaction to getting uh, starting at episode 25 and going from there. And I have to tell you right now, when I first watched this, I was instantly afraid that my attention would go off of the Mighty Nine of Vox Machina. I, from this episode, I just realized how badass Vox Machina was too. And it almost like totally jumped over my love for uh, Campaign 2. And it was almost like off of this one episode. I think I, I have some crazy reactions in here. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, but I'm not too sure I've, this this is post me, but I'm shooting this right before I go in to chop it up So yeah, other than that Thank you for all the support again from the critters and Enjoy the video. All right, here we go. Holy shit. Am I ready for this? Vox Machina <laughs> You can say there's central hub city where they have their gray skull keep is constructed to Respect. relax and take in a brief moment of respite. Uh, before learning that the Briarwoods, two individuals responsible for much, uh, apparently responsible for much darkness Stress. and sadness in the history of Percy, um, were Percy. coming to port within a week to uh, feast and talk with uh, Sovereign Uriel Taldore. And uh, what are you doing? Lock it up. Jeez. I mean, it's just, it, it, like I put a whole glass in there and it looks like nothing. Good, <laughs> it means you gotta keep pouring. Um, so, uh, upon hearing the Byrwoods arriving within a week to discuss political matters and enjoy a feast, uh, of course, the members of Vox Machina, who are part of the Council of Taldori, were invited. Within that week, they made the various preparations, made the various beard checks, made the various, the various beard shavings, <laughs> and, um... <laughs> it happened. Recap. And, um, made their way to the Central Palace. Uh, as so before I continue, so... Let me just... Okay, now, okay, now I see. So, Liam, Vax... Laura, Vexalia, Vexalia. So they're they're the twins, half elven, half elven. Ah, and Taliesin is a gunslinger, the human gunslinger. Marisha's a druid. Ashley, when she comes, is the gnomish cleric. Grog the barbarian. Travis, and then this guy. So I heard about this guy, um, beforehand. So. Uh, no one has to fill me in. I heard like some stuff and it's just it's kind of like a okay, let's just keep moving forward <laughs> kind of the deal. But Scanlan, the gnome bard. So now I'm going to be finally able to react to the songs whenever I get to get through uh, Vax over here. While Vax went invisible, uh, everyone had formal attire on, weapons left at the door, uh, unarmored. Dressed for the occasion. Uh, uh, no, 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 you can see across the way, kind of in the, the dark candlelit uh, area of the room by the canopy bed, is uh, Lady Delilah Briarwood, hands still out, kind of smiling at you. Uh, immediately to your left shoulder is uh, Lord Silas Briarwood, who has leaned in and is actually pulling you away from the door now. You're s skidding across the ground as he shifts you, your legs unable to actually move. As he pulls you forward, the Lord kind of whispers in your ear, you are a curious one. You're not quite gifted with the silver tongue. <laughs> Foolhardiness is not becoming of a guest of the Briarwoods. For a moment, there's this kind of pause, this tension, the silence, and uh, Delilah, Lady Briarwood, kind of puts her hand out further and says, Yet, my love, we are not here to make enemies, nor raise suspicion. We are merely protecting ourselves from intrusion. Um, I need you to go ahead and make another uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. First roll. Not an unimportant one. Natural 20. <laughs> no, no. First roll of the night. Could kill Liam. <laughs> Could kill Liam. 18. Two. I was just too off. One sec. Gotta pause. Okay, I'm back. Real quick, mate. Gotta refresh. 
So Briar Woods have Liam right now, or Vax, in a holding spell. Okay. You feel your muscles lax, oh. and the, the sweat that is still running across your face, you feel for the first time in one of these moments that seem to just stretch on forever, you have control of your body. So you do feel the hand of Lord Briarwood right on your shoulder, who as he, now at this point, as you become conscious of the fact that you are in control of your physical form, his voice comes very heavily, the bass kind of kicking into your left ear. Mm, indeed. We do require allies. I need you to go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw. Uh, this is technically a charm effect, and you being a half elf, you do oh, have Oh, he's of charming him? Uh, that is a, a 21. 21, 21, nice. You feel there's an extension of just the sheer force, some unnatural force of charisma that t- attempts to penetrate beyond the uh, usual slippery mind that you know, Vax holds in such a high esteem. <laughs> <laughs> so this this the shit Sam started drinking from just kept getting bigger every episode or something. <laughs> Unaffected by whatever he was attempting to try. Ooh. Nice. I'm glad he resisted that. <laughs> a deception <laughs> check, bro. I've never seen. S- I made a few. You used a couple yeah, of points. Yeah. So I've made I did sure. a lot last game. But- Apparently the help was not very helpful. At which point you hear this. A fast knock at the door, and you hear a voice go, Are you alright? Is everyone alright? Behind the door. At which point, uh, my fucking ears. Does this with their finger, and the door swings open on its own. Uh, the guard that ran after your belt is standing there holding the groggy, just slightly coming to second guard that you knocked out. And as he kind of pulls him towards the door, he looks over and sees this, and he goes, drops him, and goes for his weapon, and Lord Byron puts his hand up and goes, Do not worry. We're just having a conversation. Meager a servant, but anything you need. But whatever you need. <laughs> Uh, This isn't bad, is it? (laughs) You hear a a throaty chuckle from uh, from Lady Briarwood across the (laughs) way. No, but is he pretending? Is he pretending to be charmed? What do you think, Anna? Lord Briarwood comes up from behind, his hands on the back of his shoulder, and says, "Like we said." You haven't the gift of the silver tongue, but I applaud your effort. Well, my mom and dad said I'm a real good speaker. They uh, they paid for like a tutor to to tell t- teach me how to, to talk, and it's worked out really well for me in my life. So if you need like uh, like an ambassador or or like a butler who talks, I could do that for you. Lady Briarwood at this point is kind of steps a couple steps closer, still about 15 feet from you. Yeah. Uh, as you go to move away, his, his arms that are on your shoulder yeah. just kind of tighten and flex and hold you in place. Oh, you don't want to know. Okay, I'll just say that for later. <laughs> Roy, roll for Cole. <laughs> go ahead and... Uh... Roll for what, Matt? <laughs> since, since, since... Okay, since I don't know what you're going to say, I'm going to say persuasion for this. I don't know if it's a deception or not. Is that power okay. out of the day out of ten? No way. Oh, I'm gonna uh, use my last luck of the day. The last one? Last luck last of the day. Is he gonna die or something? Why is he using luck? Uh, that's 17. Do you want an inspiration? Huh? No. <laughs> what are you asking oh, for? Oh, shit. What are you begging from the DM, huh? <laughs> yeah, so that's why I said remind. <laughs> is it begging or is it praying? No. I'll, yeah, I'll, praying. I'll give inspiration well, when you goddamn earn it. <laughs> so I'll give you inspiration when you yeah. goddamn I, earn I, it. You say that, you know, kind of looking at him with this coy look of information about your real. They both kind of chuckle in unison. <laughs> We're now rolling for it. Oh, oh, what's up? Fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Does he have an earring? They got a. So, they're gonna are. fight? Right there. Oh, the shit. There's the two windows. Yo, even though uh, as far as you it's aware, like that, like they guards. did. like the, That's still cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. It wasn't a one. It wasn't a one. That's a, but oh, one, adjacent one adjacent is what you said. One adjacent? <laughs> All right. Oh, that was yeah. close. Delilah kind of steps forward, and you can see there's a slight flash of kind of bluish purple arcane energy in her eyes. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Seeing seeing the group now, it is it is just so out odd and out of place to have this guy here. I'm not gonna lie. And as she does, she draws her fingers up, and you feel this sudden cold pressure around your body. Um, I. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Memorize all the way he's gonna come. Vax dies. <laughs> episode twenty-five. Right, so, uh, I need you to go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw, Vax. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. So, as she does this, you feel uh, all the flesh and kind of your torso and around your neck part of your body all of a sudden begin to dry and crack, as if the life force itself is beginning to wither and be drawn out. It's like it's like 
the, the equivalent of a plant drying out and dying very fast, but it's your flesh instead. Um, you go ahead and take. You take uh, 21 points of necrotic damage. Immediately, it kind of whips to one side, and with an unarmed claw attack, another giant fist can come to you on the side of your torso. That is going to be a uh, 21 to hit. All right. Uh, for this, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage. As this fist just poof, socks you on the inside of your chest area, kind of hitting the sternum, and you feel like a slight pain crack sound as it hits and impacts against the leather. Um, as you pull forward, with unnatural speed, whoosh, the hands are back on your shoulder, and you hear this little voice say, Bon appetit. Uh, that's going to be a 25 to hit. All right. What are uh, these numbers? Okay. Suddenly you feel two extremely sharp, warm prongs <gasps> jut in the side Whoa, of your throat. They They're vampires? Um, and that same cold sensation you felt across your torso all of a sudden begins to pull from the neck. You they honestly, an additional 12 they honestly sounded like vampires. And your maximum hit points are currently reduced by 12. <gasps> and the reduced hit points thing? I just got to that in campaign two. It's your turn. They fought things that reduced he, he currently has their you, uh, hit points. Actually, this, this will be part of his, his unarmed attack. Uh, no, he's not had he he's not had grapple currently. No, he, he did damage. Am I getting introduced to where Vex is gonna fucking die? I'm trying not to pay attention to the chat. It's very fucking distracting. Because there are two windows on each side of the room right Yo, yes, he's gonna break straight at the window. And as I run, uh, I just yeah, pass them. Don't go anywhere near her. And I'm I'm using dash. As your action. Yeah, and I'm just okay. leaping out the window and saying. Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's badass. Run past. You can see there's 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 this moment where it's almost like they're just letting it happen. There's no momentary aggression or frustration to this as you dart and out the window, falling from the second story. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check. Good. That's a 32. That's a Okay. Um, Do I even stop running? <laughs> you hit the ground with a tumble and you get up and you continue. Those of you who have the earrings on. He's in trouble. Jack. You're done. Let's go. Wait, 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 And now we have shattered, shattering glass, don't we? Do we uh, not it? from this part in the palace. You're too far away from it. I start running towards the door to grab weapons and Maybe. I'm saying into my ear, where are you? What's going on? I'm, I'm by the bartender saying, I ordered a large, please. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a slightly larger one, please? <laughs> oh. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yes. I um I I turn it into I'm gonna go eagle and I start scouting the halls looking for them. Okay. And I'm running with them towards the door. I I don't know what am I able to talk further? I'm like I don't know how much this is combat. Uh, that and... that's about as much as you can out this yeah. combat now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it was a very very quick series of it took all your effort to even get out of that situation. She and I are booking it for the door. Yeah, now. we're booking it for the weapons. You, you guys go for it. You you run towards the front. So Jenga was the safe word. Okay. And, and the weapons are being held in this kind of storage area off to the side that is used for storing weaponry and armor for people who arrive and shouldn't be wearing them. You know, you, you <laughs> Tell us it's, it's fine. I gotta go get my gun, gun anyways. See, uh, other, I love uh, that line. Kind of glance around. Gotta there. go get my uh, gun. Up the stairs. I poop on one of them as I go over. <laughs> okay. Why would you poop uh, as you're as you're gliding up 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 the I staircase, leaving the second floor, there are two servants. <laughs> Your avian payload. Um, <laughs> avian payload. Uh, on, on, on the stairs, you can see looking kind of jarred and, and confused, uh, a human woman, brown hair, freckles, kind of mousy-looking servant, kind of looks up and reaches up as you oh. kind of spatter the side of her shoulder. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> me saying sorry. <laughs> and uh, I need you to go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw. I'm not metagaming. Like other people, we might. Uh, that's a that's a thirteen. A thirteen. So as you get up, you say jinga. <laughs> Familiar feel comes over you as your muscles once again lock into place, and you kind of fall over from the from the momentum of the the run, going face down into the cold, like kind of dew covered grass. Okay, damn. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. No, see, okay, I did notice it there. I think you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I did notice it there. In dash fashion and uh, leaping out of the broken window that you left, uh, Lord Briarwood <laughs> onto the ground next to you. What? He followed Vax out, out the grin. window. Um. That will be his turn, though. Um, yes. There. Uh, Lady Briarwood is oh, going to sure. take the rest of her turn. She has one action left. Oh, what a great, awesome. <laughs> Did this. She looks over to you. Oh, sure. Oh, no. Says, uh, when we mark a target, it does not escape, I'm afraid. Oh. Um, mm. That, that was a cold a line. Another constitution saving throw. When we mark a target, uh, it does not escape. Nine? Brandon, the universe is random and doesn't care about you and 
Alright, so. Sending your universe is random and doesn't care about you and me. Nothing matters. Oh, a lot of rolls. Objection. Okay, you take 34 points of necrotic damage. Yeah, I'm on his sister. Mmm. As a young girl, folding linens with our mother. I think of my sister. Is it an adolescent in lessons? Damn! I think of the woman that she grew into. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Thought cast out, the darkness swallows your vision, and unconsciousness takes you into the cold, wet grass on the floor of the courtyard surrounding the palace. A small shiver runs down your spine, Vex. A feeling you haven't felt before. A feeling of sudden and immediate, sourceless dread. And in that instant, you know that there is almost no time. Holy and, shit. Uh, as you guys are. I'm blasted into an episode where Vax point. is already about to die. Holy shit. All right, so Vax and Grog, you guys rush out into the courtyard area, making your way out of the front. Some of the guards can see you dart by and they go to stop you, but they see you going where they go and they recognize you and let you pass. Uh, I will say, go ahead and make an intelligence check. Oh, he has Dimension Door? You, you Not good. As a bard? Whoa. Seeing how fast she's running. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to in the chambers. I'll be right there. Fireball to those guys right there. Right there? Yeah. All, All right. Go ahead and roll damage. This is okay. <laughs> yeah, they did not make their saving throws. I don't know. Uh, but the, uh, I want to say, you're coming up ready for that. I, I wiggle my decanter of water and I start charging it like, mm. that's it. And then I do fire. Okay. What? <laughs> decanter of water? Yeah. It looks like Endless you rubbed, water. rubbed your nipple a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so roll your damage on that. One of them gets blasted and thrown almost off his feet and pushed back in the sheer force, five foot that direction. The one that's the side of the doorway, who was already at one hit point, barely brought from being knocked unconscious oh, by, right. next you hear scream, <laughs> and it's turned to ash. It's charred armor left clattering across the ground. What about the door? Uh, the both doors are blown open from the yeah! top of the explosion. And I rush right a, in. A large portion of the room is currently uh, like singed with black. Um, what's your fly speed on uh, 30 fly? Feet. 30 feet? Yeah. All right, so you can go. Blew his friend into ashes. Cremated him. <laughs> <laughs> he cremated his friend <laughs> for real. Yeah, out, just go. Lilith, the, the tiefling the wizard. Sign. There's this map on this. Okay, side. are they about to team the Briarwoods? Kind of spend your whole turn rushing. Are they about to kill the them? It's a long distance. Yeah, all right. All the energy right. Very long range. Shit. He's going to look towards Secret Asum and say, "This quarrel is not with you." As Asum kind of looks over his shoulder, uh, Asum. Relaxes his grip. Oh, he got charged. He his and you just hear him say, "My apologies. I did not mean to meddle." No. Stepping out of the fray. Seeker Hasun is. Yes. Seeker Hasun failed the um, save. No. Trim Ash and get him out of that. That'll be Saz's turn. Oh, go ahead and make an athletics check. Well. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. I, an athletics check. Yes. With my did I pause it? No, I'm still going. I mean, she kind of she dived down to grab him, not cat talons coming at him. So that's a little bit sus, and that he wouldn't hear an eagle come into the room. A little sus, but hey, eagle. we'll keep going. Is, just, is that Dex or strength? Take it. Hit the seeker. Okay, I'm doing it. Yeah, Jeez. fuck it. Lightning arrow right at her face. Don't miss. Okay, go for it. Go for it. I heard archers oh, are underpowered. Yes. That's right. Oh well, that's hard to tell. Uh, that's. that's or I heard they're really weak in D and D. Yeah, that's right, weird Good, that's your twenty. Uh, yeah. That's your twenty. <laughs> Yes! Comes through your veins and attempt to vengeance at what apparently seems to be your twin brother. That couldn't have door. played you out any better. Your, back your quiver as you feel like the energy gather from the, the atmosphere around you. While the energy itself is like a blue crackling energy, you just see it as bright, vibrant, crimson red, and you release it with a scream ah! towards Lady Briarwood. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hit that shit, Laura. And what do I do? Vex? Times two because of. Yes, uh, times two. Uh, so. She was 32. 32, already. Damage on her. And then everybody damage. within Damn. 10 feet Takes. has to make a deck save. Every right. little bit counts. Every little bit so, counts. Uh, That's what I was saying. Exactly, like Marissa. Every little, little bit sure counts. Force, that should have. Sure, all of it. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> then do I get another attack, though? Yes? You do. Okay, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack her through my blazing bowstring. <laughs> yes. Natural 20! Yes! Oh! oh I Invoked the fury tonight. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, let's go. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Save that. Oh, shit. This is a yes, of course. Right, it is. Go for it. 
17 times 2 is 34. 30. Plus his hunter's mark damage, which is another fucking 6. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking damage. Wow. No, she loved to raise her. Well, she, she's... No, no, no. No, it is 40. It's 40 damage. Uh, she, um... Did two arrows just put her ass down? An I mean, electric and a blade? of damage yeah. for that. Would I, that have been the in the part of the part that was? Hold up! What do? fucking level are they right now? They're level ten in this. At, at, at level tw at episode twenty five, are they level ten? Shake that charm! Uh, Holy shit! And she kind of looks at you for a second, and she extends one cruel finger towards oh. you with a look of intense hatred. Um, I need you to make a Constitution save. Oh, okay. I want to make sure. Constitution saves back to back. Seventeen. 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 Okay. I think he succeeds. So much math. You take 66 points of necrotic damage. Oh, what the fuck? A beam of black energy just streaks out from her finger, plows into your torso, and you feel as if your soul is temporarily pulled from a portion of your body. 66 there, your points eyes of necrotic. glance past the threshold of death, and you manage to pull yourself back in. Who the fuck are these people? Um, <laughs> Fags, Travis, who the fuck are you? Resonates through the rest of your body, and all of a sudden the temperature outside, which is already pretty chilly now, feels freezing cold. Rush of the finger of death. All right, uh, she is going to move over towards Silas right here. What the fuck? Kind of Holy shit! Here, glancing down at the unconscious body of. So I was recommended to try it like this this time, where I would cut one episode up into multiple videos. So here I am trying it. Uh, let me know what you think. I tried to capture the best moments I had from like the reactions in there, but I think the better ones come out as the episode continues on um but hopefully you enjoyed and let me know if you want to see any more parts after this one of the whole episode one reaction because i have the whole i think it was maybe four four fifty i think it was four hours i don't know how long episode 25 is but i have everything recorded like i said i've just been sitting on this footage so yeah this was back when i don't remember where i was at in, in uh uh, campaign two, but it was really in the beginning. It's crazy to think I'm on episode 105 now, Rumble at Rumble Cusp. So, yeah, uh, thank you for all the support again. See y'all in the next one. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Enjoyed this. Whew. Much love and light. Peace out.